Beautiful Tauruses, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 10th. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. In honor of love, I'm going to be doing a bonus romance reading after the general reading. So please stay tuned. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So be sure to check all three. And if this is your first time watching, thank you so much. If it resonates with you or serves you in any way, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I appreciate it all. All right, Taurus, deep breath in. We're entering Mercury retrograde, this beautiful full moon. I am so in love with it. It's in Leon. That's my rising, so I'm a little biased. The energy, you can feel like it's breaking up a little bit to make room for expansion and growth and action. <sighs> yes, I'm so excited. All right, guys, let's take a deep breath in. <sighs> Ground out. Everything's going to be good, and let's get started. guidance and the energy of Taurus. Ooh. So kind of coming up in clumps here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get clarity on one card. Got it. Two of Swords, the world, Knight of Ooh, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Cups. Clarity card is the Ten of Wands. Starting out with the Two of Swords. Did I say Wands? It's Two of Swords. Um, Taurus. There's a decision that's going to be had. That's going to have to be made this week. You might feel that you're a little bit of a crossroads. Um, they're, they're, you're doing pros. You're doing cons. You're not really sure what to make of it. But let me be your sign. You have the world card. It's time to move to that next level. It's time to step it up. And I think deep down you really want to, Taurus. It might just be more of, is it the right time? Am I ready? I mean, maybe I should hold off. Wait till summer. Something like that. No. With the world card, you you completed. You're good. You have everything that's required to move to the next level. The universe is supporting this growth. We never feel 100%. Our ducks are never perfectly in a row. And they're not supposed to be. Now, we have the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands. There, again, this looks like it might have to do with work or a passion project or something that you feel very deeply about, something that you really want to kind of get on the road when we have the ace of wands it's a new career a new opportunity something is being offered to you in some way now it can be a promotion if you be getting that loan for your business you get your first client collaboration of some form some kind of some kind of new opportunity that's really allowing you to change your life but it's something you're passionate about so I can understand sometimes Taurus when we're really afraid to make a decision because we think what if it fails what if I can't do this blah 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 even if it's just a small step the universe is saying you're ready go for it you know what to do the knight of wands is somebody who's very self-assured adventurous buy it off more than you can chew Taurus you're going to be great just make sure that yes think things through but things are a little bit Time is of the essence kind of energy. The energy's flowing. It's moving. Jump in. It kind of reminds me of like double dutch. You got to just jump in right at the right time. It's a good pace. Yes, of course. You know, take a, take a day. Maybe think about it. But it needs your attention. You got to make a decision. Stop procrastinating. Move forward. You're going to be so excited and happy that you did. This is a great opportunity. You have the king of cups on top of it. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, Taurus. The king of cups is not just about emotional maturity and being able to balance the mental and the emotional realms. He's somebody who's very cultured. What you're doing is not selfish. You're doing it because you love it. You're doing it because it serves. You're doing it because you believe in it. Believe in yourself as well. And if there's any kind of bumps, you're going to be, you're going to come up with incredible creative solutions to them. So don't worry so much about the hows. Keep your eye on the bigger picture and the vision that you have. Trust yourself, Taurus. You have the page of wands. Not only is this an amazing opportunity. You're, it's coming from your heart. You're passionate about it. It's driven. It's being offered to you. But the universe is also going to be providing you someone or more than someone to help you support. The Page of Cups is somebody who's intuitive and understands you and has your back. Can it be a romantic partner? Yes. But it's just somebody who really understands and, and is there for you, sees your vision, and, and has that emotional connection with you. So sometimes it's scary when you're making a decision, but it's even scarier when we have to do it alone and you're not supposed to be doing it alone. You have a lot of love. You have a lot of help. You have a lot of people that see what you're trying to do. Now, I did pull a clarity card for that two of swords, and we have the ten of wands. 
Don't overwork yourself on this, guys. Don't try to balance too many things. When we have the Ten of Wands, that's working too many hours, trying to please too many people. It's burnout. We're trying to burn the candle at both ends, and we have we can get sick. Our immune system can crash, and you might be like, Angelique, that's why I'm having a hard time making that decision. There is a way to do what you love, to move forward without hurting yourself. Yeah, I might have to sacrifice things. You might have to change up your schedule, your routine, but it's doable. And I keep telling everybody 2020, besides all the growth and incredible shifts, it really is about short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. We're really putting in all our energy and passion into our vision, into our drive, and it's going to yield incredible results, Taurus. I am extremely excited and happy for you. What a productive week. Do your best not to procrastinate. If you're looking for a sign, here it is. All right, guys, on to the romance reading. Again, this is just guidance for the energy of Taurus. It doesn't have to be just for this week. It's just whatever the universe has to say and romantic guidance for this energy. So let's see. Let's check in. <sighs> romantic guidance for the energy of Taurus. go okay we have healing family issues wedding getting to know each other reconciliation first things first healing family issues what this tells me Taurus is that your potential to number one not just get married but to move forward in relationships move forward in a loving manner to really create a bond and a future if that's what you're looking for or if you're ready in a committed relationship to heal the relationship to to help deepen it to Give it what it needs for the long haul. You're being called to do some inner work here. When we have healing family issues, there is aspects of your life, of your childhood, as is there is for everybody, that's really affecting your love life. It might be you don't, you don't know how to communicate well. It can be fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, stonewalling people, defensiveness. You know, we could be emotionally immature. I mean, we all have something, but the universe is guiding you to heal. So even though this might be coming indirectly, they're saying, look at, we've heard your call for love, for healing, for deepening, for growth, to, to get married, to have that home, to have that family, whatever it is. And the thing is, we're like, we hear it and we're answering your call. And we know that the way to get that is to remove this block, to bring your awareness to something subconsciously that might be sabotaging or keeping you, or not allowing you to move past a certain pattern or point. And it has to do with your childhood. It, it doesn't it always, you know, your, your parents, your siblings who have raised you. And just be gentle with yourself. The healing aspect really has a lot of the, the F word, the forgiveness word, but that's even forgiving yourself. You, you are a child. You didn't know doing the work is this is what's going to bring you to this next level. Now, we do have the wedding card. Now, for some people, this might be the sign that some of the relationships are going to be moving forward. And just FYI, regardless, if you try to skip this work, it's going to come up. So you might as well do it on your terms. And the universe has heard your call. And if, for anybody who's looking for that sign, it's going to happen. It's going to happen for you. Let's work on this and this can grow. Now, you don't have to be perfectly healed. That's ridiculous. No. But you must start the process of acknowledgement and release. I do have a very good grief uh, workshop. If anybody's interested, you know, I'll add that down below as well. Or healing work, cord cutting. I give a free seven-day healing and reclaiming cord cut cleanse. Remove swords, knives, energies. I give it to you absolutely free. It's down below, guys. Cleanse, clear, start the process. We have getting to know each other. So this is about you learning to be vulnerable with your partners, really allowing them to, to get in there, to, to be there for you, to hear your story, really uh, uh, revealing yourself, right? If you want something deep, if you want something lasting, you have to be able to, to offer something up there, right? You have to be able to also invest emotionally and be transparent and, and trust another with that. So learning to, to trust, learning to communicate, learning to be vulnerable with those you love, learning to go deep, not to shy away from those subjects. Now, you do have reconciliation. I feel like this has been coming up for a lot of people. 
FYI, Mercury retrograde is coming along, and we know what happens with Mercury retrograde. The past always likes to come a knock in. FYI, whatever comes up in Mercury retrograde tends to leave when Mercury retrograde or Mercury goes direct. So just, I think what they're wanting you to do when we do this healing work, let's say we do this healing work, we're getting really emotionally healthy, we're finally picking healthy emotional partners, or we're healing. What always happens? That ex calls, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Whatever. It's not a sign. The universe says, you're doing good work. You're moving to the next level. We're going to bring back the same lesson just one more time to make sure that you learn, that you don't. Is there anything here that's that's residual that you still got to learn? You want to jump back on this carousel and take it for a ride? And that's when you say yes or no. And that's that. Yes or no. Now, I'm not saying any, everyone who's coming back is not healthy for you, but I will say during record retrograde, you know, but this is about your healing and the past will always come up as you cut cords and release. This is really, really common, guys. If anybody's going to do my seven day clearing, just FYI, when you do it, there are detox symptoms and people tend to call, be strong, we're healing, releasing, and you're moving towards this marriage, this happiness, this foundation, this love. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Guys, I hope this serves you. If you like a more in-depth reading, a healing session, a manifestation session, a release session, my links will be down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful week, a happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys next week for next week's readings.